Hey you guys, this is Renee from BowBeautyBlog.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's almost Halloween. It's October already. I can't believe that. I just, I hate the summer. I, I hate the summer ending. I love the summer. I just can't stand it when it ends. But I got this really cool thing in the mail. Can you guess what it is? It's this witch hat. It's way, way cool. And I know it's hard for you to see it. Like in the, get it on the whole screen. I'll take it off in just a second. But I'm just kind of admiring this hat because it looks really, really, really freaking cool. But anywho, growing up, Halloween was always my favorite holiday. I hated summer ending. Like I just said, I've been that, that way since I was a kid. I always loved the summer. No school. It was hot out. I got to go play outside, walk around barefoot, um, go swimming. Swimming is like my favorite thing. I love the beach, except when the fall came, it's like, eh. But then Halloween came, and Halloween was always my favorite holiday. And now October is a little more eh for me, you know, for various reasons, but I still love Halloween itself. It's just always been so exciting, you know, dressing up, going out with your friends, it's like dark, you know. To then, to us, it seemed like it was really, really late at night, but it really actually wasn't. It had just turned dark. But it seemed late at night when you're a kid. You get to go out, knock on people's doors, say trick or treat, you know, get candy, all that kind of stuff. And we always got to stay up late eating the candy because we were like wired anyway from it. And just the whole, you know, general atmosphere and ambiance, like hay rides for Halloween, all that kind of stuff. I just loved it. But then as soon as Halloween was over, it had to go back to being summer. And I still wish it would be like that. I love Halloween itself, but then it has to go back to being summer. And I love witch hats because they're way cool. And I think that was like the first costume I remember dressing up as, as a kid was a witch. Just because I liked seeing them on TV. I thought they were really cool with that big long nose. And even with the wart, I didn't mind the big nose and the wart because they had brooms and they got to fly. I mean, how cool is that? So that was the awesomest thing. So I always dream I, I can fly, then I wake up and I'm mad because I can't fly. Like, it's so disappointing. Such a letdown. But anyway, on to the witch hat. So I got the chance to partner with this company called, I don't know how it's pronounced, but I love the tags on this hat, if you've seen them bobbing around on here, so that I wouldn't lose them before I could show them to you. I'll go ahead and take off this awesome hat. I really don't want to because I'm really loving the hat. But anywho, we partnered with this company. It's called S-D-S-A-E-N-A. -E and I will leave the link down below. The full link, the full link for it so you can see it. Because I, I jumped at the chance for this because, like I said, I freaking love witch hats. And this is one of the coolest ones I've seen. There are some, you know, in like stores, you know, like various, you know, discount stores and stuff available now that are getting a little bit fancier than they used to be. But the quality, it's still not, you know, quite there. Like I had this one a couple of years ago and it was black. It had all sorts of like sparkly cobweb print all over it. But it was very flimsy. I mean, it was so cool looking. But I wore it like once to like one Halloween party and couldn't wear it to another one because it basically fell apart. I have like a big head. So <clears throat> anyway, when we got this one in, even when I showed it to Jerry, he was like, oh my God, that's like a real hat. It's like, well, yeah, it's a real hat. It's a witch hat. But he's like, no, a real hat. Like you'd go to like, what are those hat people called? A haberdashery. A haberdashery, yes. Like you go to one of those. It was like that kind of quality. It's like thick. And it's almost like, I want to say quilted, but not really. It's got like a texture of, you know, it's got that thickness. It's very satiny, and when I pulled it out of the box, I was just like, wow, this is perhaps one of the coolest witch hats that I've ever seen, and anyway, this one is the purple, and as you can see, it's like this purple satin, and it has like, almost like a spider webby looking lace overlay type thing on it, and it's very thick, and even without my hand up in the cone part, it still stands up. So it's like, kind of like, oh, it's kind of like the sorting hat. This is like way cool. This hat just gets cooler and cooler, doesn't it? Well, anyway, on the front, there's also this like netting with a bow and then like another netting with a bow and it's all sparkly and stuff. And there's this really awesome spider. I mean, how cool is that? Here's the spider's body and its head and it's like a black sparkly spider. So it's just really awesome. Then to get even more detailed, there's this band around it that's like little faux rhinestones all over it. So the hat's really, really detailed. I mean, this is just really amazing and just awesome. And then Jerry noticed this cutout in the back, like this. And so it's kind of heart-shaped, which is really convenient. And we thought it was a really, really neat because we ne neither one of us had seen a hat like that before or worn one like that before. 
And so Jerry mentioned it. We were just at his mom's house and Jerry mentioned it to his sister. And she said she had one like that. And it's so that you can like bend your head more and like lean your head back if you needed to without the hat popping off, which absolutely makes sense. So let's see, I can like lean my head back like this. So if you're at a Halloween party and you're drinking some of that like Halloween looking ale with like the dry ice in it and makes it look like a cloudy witch's brew drink, you can chug it, you know, and you'll tilt your head back and or, your hat won't fall. Or it's just a cool styling. Yeah, either way. Either way, it's a cool looking hat and it's really, really awesome. So anyway... I just love this hat. I really don't want to take it off, but I better take it off so I can cut this tag off and show it to you guys a little bit better than I showed you before. Okay. And it is 19.5 by 17.5 by 17.5. So it is distributed by the Ruiyi Company. And here is the brand name again, if you didn't catch it before. It's S D S A E N A. Sidsena. Something like that. Oh, well, Sidsena, something like that. S D Sena, Sidsena, something like that. Either way, it's a really, really cool hat. Like I said, I'll leave the link down below. And oh yeah, and if you don't like the purple, it also comes in orange instead of purple. And they also and they also have one that's solid black with like the black satin and black over it. So no matter what color your witch outfit is going to be, you can get a witch hat to match and look very, very bewitching. So I'll put the hat back on so you can see it. And it's just super cool. So I probably messed up the brim some. But anyway, don't forget to check it out at sdsaena.com. I'll leave the full link down below. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Have a happy Halloween and we'll see you on our next video.